Yo, what's up? Sports Dad is in the building. It's been a while um, since we last connected, but I'm really excited to be back. I apologize for the delay. It's been super duper busy. And as you can see, I had to make some changes. I had to do some upgrading, if you will. I um, had to get my quality right. I just got a new camera I'm excited about. My birthday just passed. And, uh, and my wife brought me a wonderful camera. Shout out to my beautiful wife. Um, I got a Canon Rebel SL2. Just, you know, nothing too fancy, but it's just right for me. And it's going to get the job done. And I love the quality already. I'm really feeling it, you know what I mean? But anyways, um, I want to talk about um, recruiting and continue on that path to be able to help young athletes and the parents and to kind of take you through the process because we're actually going through it right now. And, uh, and my children are, are trying to get um, offers from Division One colleges. So uh, I got some information I wanted to share. And so today, I'm going to be talking about creating a highlight, creating a highlight uh, video for yourself so that you can show um, college coaches. And I got some great information that I want to share with you. All right, so let's go. All right, here we go. So I received a phone call on Saturday from my son's coach, football coach. Um, and this is why it's so important to make sure that you're getting your child connected to the right high school and not just a school they want to go to because all their friends are going to be there. But if they're trying to play at the next level, it's very important um, to make sure that they're uh, at the right high school with a coach that actually cares and they're playing on the big stage. So he called and he said, hey, I need them to make some changes to the highlights. I just spoke with one of my um, recruiting buddies and he basically said that they should take this um, highlight and put it at the beginning. So, um, so my sons basically had their highlights all over the place because what they do, what they do now is that uh, once the game is recorded, they upload it to um, an app called Huddle, and it gives the players uh, access to go on and make their highlights. And so, um, so it's very important to to make sure that you're understanding when you're putting together your highlights, you're you're trying to capture the audience you're trying to capture the coach or the recruiter's attention within like the first few seconds of the actual video. Um, I would say your video should be no longer than three minutes. I will use three minutes as, as a buffer, anywhere from two and a half to three minutes, right? But he wanted us to take the best out of all those highlights and put them in the beginning, right? Instead of just kind of, um, you know, spreading it out put all of your best highlights in the beginning because what you're trying to do is you're trying to capture the audience right away. And so, and with that being said, the video should only be, I would use, like I said, three minutes at maximum. Um, two and a half minutes is actually, you're really doing good and that way you got really good content. Um, your videos is hitting them right away, okay? So basically, and that's, that's all he told me um, in regards to their actual video. And we talked about you know other things too about you know grades and camps and stuff like that but mainly i just wanted to make sure that you understood that it's very important when you're putting together the video it's not about the music of the video and things like that but it is about you actually putting your best highlights in the beginning to be able to capture the audience right away because you got to remember college coaches and recruiters are receiving tons of video highlights from players coaches, parents, all that good stuff every day. And so um, so when they do get, the, get an opportunity to pull up your video, you wanna put yourself in a position to capture them right away, okay? That's all I wanted to share. I'm gonna be back. Um, I'm gonna be posting some more stuff. We got some workouts coming up this weekend I'm really excited about, and I'm gonna try to get some interviews as well, all right, with some coaches. So be on the lookout for that. It's very good to be back and uh, be on the lookout for this information. Sports Dad, I'm out.